Greetings, buttholes. James Reeves, TFP TV mailroom number 26. So, about a year ago, somebody said, James, you should wear jeggings for a video, which is perverse, uh, a perverse, disgusting suggestion, but it was made. And what I said is I said, look, if we get 100 new Patreon patrons this month, whenever that was, I'll wear jeggings in two videos. And it happened. Surprisingly, it, it happened. So, here's one today. I hope you're happy, you sick bastards. This, today's going to be one. And then, as you guys know, we're doing the Pen15 build. If you're not familiar with the Pen15 build, viewers have been sending in gun parts for like the past almost year or so to build a TFB TV AR-15. 50% of the parts we receive are penises and or balls, or penis and balls related. Um, so it's gonna be an interesting build and it's almost done. Here's, here's a little progress picture. So jeggings video number two is going to be the same time we unveil the pin 15, actually take it out and shoot it. I'm a man of my word, so I'm following through on that. Beer today. I'm gonna suck down an entire pound of Abita strawberry because we're playing the Rams today. The Los Angeles Rams, I guess, or St. Louis, wherever the fuck those idiots are from. Some of you may remember that complete fucking bullshit call at the NFC Championship last game. And true story, um, Uh, true story, I'm at SHOT Show, I'm at Range Day. That's when we were playing that game. And I was watching it on my iPad because TFB, the firearm blog, actually sponsored the Wi-Fi at Range Day last year. So if you use the free Wi-Fi at Range Day last year, you're welcome, first of all. But it was pretty cool because they made a separate line just for me, like a high-speed lane, I guess. I don't know how internet works but they, they made this special connection just so I could stream the game. So in between booths, I'm like pausing, watching the game, pausing, watching. So I had to go through all that agony to get fucking robbed by these dumbass referees. Anyway, so I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm done ranting and raving about it, but sorry guys, drinking a beer of strawberry, drinking some local beer uh, to make me, plus I got a little bit of a tequila hangover. This is just gonna help me ease right into the uh, game here at 3.30. So how can we afford to do awesome stuff like pay for Wi-Fi at Range Day at SHOT Show? Patreon, our support on Patreon. We could not do it without you guys. Our videos getting demonetized left and right. It's only a matter of time before we're totally demonetized. In fact, I think one, we're one of the last channels that's still standing who are actually getting AdSense revenue from some of our videos. At this point, it's like half or less than half compared to when we first started out, you know, like four or five years ago, whatever. Um, doing the math, like per view, we're getting paid like a sixth or an eighth of what we used to get paid on AdSense revenue. So it kind of sucks. We couldn't do it without Patreon supporters. But now Patreon is starting to suck. Um, Patreon is getting rid of gun YouTubers, uh, cutting them off the platform. You've got guys like uh, the Gun Collective, John Patton over there, just voluntarily leaving because they're a bunch of San Franciscan assholes. And it's only a matter of time before we get totally cut out from Patreon as well. Um, now, as far as YouTube, we are on BitChute. So bitchute.com slash TFBTV. We're uploading our old stuff. and. Any new video that goes on YouTube also goes on BitChute. So if you prefer to watch it on BitChute, go ahead. We're probably gonna get kicked off Patreon at some point. So we signed up with Subscribestar. Subscribestar is a freer thinking alternative. That's where uh, the Gun Collective went. So we're on Subscribestar. Right now I just have a $5 tier, but it, it eventually is going to mirror Patreon where we're gonna have like a $1, $2, $5, $10 tier. And Everybody, if you're giving on Subscribestar, you are automatically entered into the gun giveaways. We do gun giveaways every month, as you guys know. You're automatically entered 
at the five or the ten dollar level or higher, you're automatically entered in those every month. We gave away, so this is technically the August video. We're in September, I know, but this is the August video because I'm like a month behind. But what I did last month is I gave away four guns instead of just two to kind of get that moving. So I've already, I'm not going to do a gun giveaway this video because I did two last video and then we'll give away the guns from for September next month. Here is what I'm going to do though. I am going to do a gun giveaway. It's just going to be a cheapo high point, right? Like a hundred dollar high point C9, brand new in the box, but I'm going to give one away, I guess 30 days from now, 30 days from now. And that will only be for the subscribe star people. That's, and maybe I'll do that every month. Maybe I'll make it a regular thing to kind of encourage people to move over to Subscribestar from Patreon. I know that this is gonna be a logistical nightmare for you guys, but I mean, it is, we, we're gonna get cut off at Patreon at some point. I think every gun creator is gonna get cut off at Patreon. Um, so uh, just be prepared to go over to subscribestar.com slash TFBTV. They sent us a really nice email. They're happy to have us there. And by the way, you probably noticed I got a little bruise here on my cheek. Uh, shot the piss out of some guns yesterday. Uh, a lot of new guns, including the Noveski Space Invader that you guys can see right here on the coffee table. Shot that yesterday, so nobody punched me in the face. Uh, not saying that I don't deserve to be punched in the face, but also some of you may have noticed if you've been following social media and seeing some of the videos like previews and teasers we've been posting on YouTube and Instagram. I was at Thunder Ranch with Clint Smith, did the urban rifle course under Clint, and that was probably the best course I've ever taken in my entire life. I've taken maybe about a dozen in the past. That was one of the best ones I've ever taken. And we are going to have a series of videos coming this fall all about Thunder Ranch. And I think we're going to be, call it How to Win a Gunfight because it's very practical, This the urban rifle class. That course is very practical oriented more than like super tactical, you know what I mean? Or theoretical. It's very practical. So I think How to Win a Gunfight is a good title. But there's also going to be a little series because... I don't know if you guys know Clint Smith, but he is the most quotable son of a bitch who you will ever meet in your entire life. And he turns on a dime. Like, he'll be talking about on, sight picture and sight alignment, and then he'll make a comment like shitting on 300 blackout just out of nowhere. And so I started collecting these little quotes, Clintisms, if you will, these little uh, quotes that he, he would make throughout the week. I started collecting them, I'm compiling them. I'm gonna give you guys a sneak preview real quick. I think, now you're more than welcome, please suggest the title, but this is what it's gonna look like. There's actually gonna be a series, I'm making a series of Clintisms. Um, depending on how many there are, there's probably a hundred, so it'll probably be like two or three episodes. I'm thinking about calling it Thunderous Wisdom. I think that's like very appropriate, you know, Thunder Ranch. And Clint's a pretty smart guy. He says he's not, but he's a pretty smart guy and he knows his shit. Uh, knows his way around a bank stick too. So I think that's gonna be a, a funny series. That'll be in addition to all the other Thunder Ranch practical content. But here's a little preview of what that's gonna look like. So when people go like, well, you know, what do you think about a 380? I wouldn't have one up my ass if I had room for a tugboat. I need a handgun that I'm going to carry that's big enough that's going to bust this bone and drive into the trunk of the body. Gotta love that guy. Gotta love that guy. Anyways, um, as you see, you got a ton of mail. That's enough bullshitting. Let me cut right into this stuff. Uh, oh, guys, after November 1st, 2019, no more Pen15 parts. I'm going to, it's basically good to go as is, but I think they did the, somebody's keeping a chart on our chat room, Discord. Um, and there's a, an invite in the description if you want to go join the chat room. It's a fun time. We love it. But somebody's keeping track there. And apparently I've got everything I need to build an AR in these boxes. Um, so if you want to contribute something, uh, we pretty much have everything, but send whatever you want. Um, and, you know, the, but the deadline's November 1st. I'm hoping to do like around Christmas or like a New Year's special or something, unveiling the Pen15 for the first time. All right, let's get cracking. I'm gonna make this quick because I spent all that time bullshitting. <sighs> we regret damage to your mail during handling by the post office. Oh yeah, this thing's just slashed. Oh my God. The post office here sucks, guys. Like, seriously, we have the worst post office in New Orleans in the entire world. Oh, 
This is from Joel, Joel Wise of TFB. Sorry, Joel, your package got manhandled and not the good package in a good way, if you know what I mean. What is this? I hate it when I get shit wrapped in plastic bags. <laughs> That's awesome. An awesome possum made a poem. I didn't even know it. That's pretty funny that Joel sent that. I gave Joel a hard time about shooting a possum because, of course, everybody thinks that possums are bad animals. We feed the possums in the backyard. I think I've mentioned this before like a hundred times. We live in Louisiana. We have possums all over the place. We feed them. They, keep, they eat ticks, so our cats don't get ticks, and, uh, and they're immune to rabies, so we're big fans. Thank you, Joel. Let's see what we got here. All right. Huckleberry Pucker. I hope this is actual beer. Okay, sweet. Yeah, a 4.6% Berliner Weiss. Nice. Paradise Creek in Pullman, Washington. You guys know I love the fruit beers, so I'm really looking forward to that. We were just in Munich, by the way. God. Here's yet another set of the, uh, the hand sights. I'm gonna try to put them all on there. I don't have a lot of rail space. You guys sent me like a 30 inch barrel with a, um, like a seven inch hand guard. It's gonna look funny. Oh my God. And look at this. Look at the attention to detail. I got another tack sack, um, a vertical foregrip that is a pair of testicles, except uh, this man lovingly painted them a nice fleshy tone. Thank you, sir, I think. James, in a recent mail room, you said Star Trek fans are D-bags, fact. And I thought, we are mature adults, I can let this go. Screw it, I'll be the D-bag you think we are, so I'm flipping you off and telling you to go grab some balls. Here are some sights for your TFB rifle so you can flip off the target. And some firm balls to grab while slinging lead. I also included a Huckleberry beer as a peace offering because us sci-fi fans must stick together against those that watch reality TV. That is true. As always, let freedom ring with a bit of recoil. Suck it, patak. Ugh, that must be like some Star Trek insult. P.S. I can't wait to see this abomination of a rifle in action. Please rock the short shorts, new quartz out shirt, and your aviators. If you're going to do this, you must do it right. Rock that pedo look. Ha, ha, ha. Old man winner. Very funny. Um, guys, I actually do like the new Star Trek movies with uh, Chris Pine and, and uh, the, uh, the guy that was... Uh, the bad guy in that movie where everybody was like, or the TV show where everybody was like a mutant or whatever. Um, those are a, a good, see oh, and Judge Dredd. Judge Dredd's on that too. Those are good. What do you Star Trek guys think of that? Does that, am, am I a casual? Am I a filthy casual because I like that and I don't like the old stuff? You tell me. Are the new ones Star Trek nerd approved? Go gear direct to James Reeves. From J. Kit to James Reeves, here's to speeding up the Pen15 build. Go Gear Direct. Oh, look at this, guys. An upper and lower build kit in prison pink. I'm not making this up. It says prison pink at the top. That's awesome. Oh, oh, and a pink bull carrier group. Guys, I think we're pretty much done. I, I maybe just need like a gas tube. And I think that does it. I think we're, we're all set on the Pen15 now. I mean, we've got all the essentials. We've got the bolt carrier group, the heart and the soul of the gun. We've got the barrel. We've got our lower build kit. We've got our upper. We've got our lower. We've got several sets of penises and balls. Um, so thank you, guys. Wow. We're, I think we're pretty much there. Hopefully there's a gas tube in one of these boxes. All right. This one is from Arlington, Texas. Isn't that where Hank Hill's from? Ha, a US Law Shield bear bobblehead. Dear James, enclosed is something I got for free with a membership. I already have one and it's been, and I was wondering who I should dump this one on and it came to me in a nightmare. Yes, it's corny, but it's what it made me think of sending it to TFB TV. I'm sure one of your groupies would love to have it or use it as target practice. It's so funny because I am the US Law Shield independent program attorney for Louisiana, says the guy wearing jeggings and drinking beer. Great program. Uh, I'm a member too. I've been a member. If you guys don't know what US Law Shield is, it's basically concealed weapons, legal insurance. Like you shoot somebody, you get sued, or you know, of course you uh, might face criminal prosecution. They pay for your defense. So it's a pretty cool program. And of all the programs out there, theirs is the most, as an insurance coverage lawyer, I can tell you theirs is the most comprehensive. So. Uh, pretty cool. And you get me or uh, somebody, if you don't want me, you can get somebody else. I really do love your videos. They're hilarious. They crack me up and I occasionally learn something. Thank you. Yes, you are a narcissist and a borderline exhibitionist. Uh, 
I mean, I would categorically deny that, at least the narcissist thing, but what I've realized dealing with everybody on YouTube, everybody's a little bit of a narcissist to be able to do this or to want to do this and keep doing God's work and educating the huddled masses and titillating those who are still gender confused and continue to preach the one true gospel of Gaston. Absolutely. Seriously, I honestly look forward to every mailbag video. I know I'm going to get a lap that day. Best regards, Mike. Mike, thanks a ton for sending this in, I guess. Uh, but really, thanks for the nice note. Uh, I, I mean, you guys watch. We get shitty comments all the time. I know you guys know that. And uh, we get our fair share of haters, but I know that the core group of you out there appreciate the content, and that really means a lot to me because that's why I do it. Oh, and for what it's worth, back to the uh, Patreon thing. When you guys do Patreon and you support us through Patreon, it doesn't go in my pocket. It goes to the organization, and we can pay for shit like Wi-Fi at SHOT Show. And I mean, of course, it goes to pay me and all the other contributors as well. But it isn't like it's buying me a new Ferrari or something. Dear James Lincoln Rockwell, I bequeath a pair of custom leather holsters from Savoy Leather. The gray holster is fitted for a Glock 48. Awesome. The brown holster is fitted for a 1911 full-size 5-inch without a rail. Do people carry those? I mean, wouldn't you want to carry something dependable? Just messing with you, 1911 guys. I also enclosed the cap to proudly serve as a public reminder that the weak should fear the strong. Seriously, Sam Hyde. I think this is like a massive inside joke that I'm not really in on, where I think this guy is another YouTuber, but everybody, anytime that there's like a mass shooting or whatever, they, they say it's this guy or they use his picture or something. This is actually very nice wrapping, dude. This is kind of weird. Like, you did a really good job with this. Look at this, red, white, and blue, too. Very creative. Oh my God. <laughs> With the Punisher skull. This is effing perfect. Um, somebody out there needs this. Obviously, I'm gonna give it away. In fact, um, here's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be a little bit like uh, that movie Seven. The guy with the hardest 1911 rip in the comments, you win this holster. There we go, another red, white, and blue. Oh my God. Here's the gray one for the Glock 48. Um, another Punisher skull. I literally will never carry anything with a Punisher skull on it. Um, but I'll give this one away too. So uh, maybe we'll do that one on Patreon, the gray Glock 48. Oh, Luke C, one of our very own from TFB and one of the moderators of the Discord. James, relax and enjoy. P.S. The second one is for a guest or Patreon, or you can pee in it or whatever. Luke C. What do we have? Okay. Pro tip, always wash your butt. Oh, look at that. TFB TV laser etched pint glass. Shit, no, I'm not giving away this other one. I'm keeping both of them. Parts for the Pen15 in here, not anthrax. Thanks, Luke. I'm keeping both of these glasses, by the way. Oh, look at that. We've got a uh, fire control group. Wonder if we if we still need that. Thank you, Luke. Oh, but wait, there's more. And we've got an Amagang Brewery Rosetta, ale aged on cherries. Sounds like a crick. Five point six percent. Kind of like a crick. Guess I'll give this a shot. An elegant fruit beer matured on cherries, brewed exclusively for Brewery Amagang by Leafman's, our sister brewery in Belgium. Just got back from Belgium, so looking forward to that. All right, last one. From Michael F. in North Lawrence, New York. Love the wrapping paper. And then there's a picture of me and Bambi for some reason. So um, I'm sure this guy's stable. Ugh, just a... Big box of junk. Let's see. Oh, come on. Jeez. Zip ties? Seriously? Ah, jeez. James, I've included some items that may be useful in your fan donated build. Also included is a framed photograph you may want to proudly display on your desk. Um, or any other appropriate location. Where the hell did Alex go? I talked about this. Like, uh, 
we were told by the editors at the time to say like Alex, uh, he was, me and Alex co-founded the channel on January 20th, 2014, um, maybe 2015, I can't remember the year, but um, that was at SHOT Show, and so he was a co-founder of the channel. He still has some great videos that are out there, but uh, he hasn't been on TFB TV for like two or three years now. I feel like every year I have to go through this story. Back then, I mean, basically what happened is the dude got burned out. Like, this is, this is hard work. And like I said, you know, not everybody's very appreciative. Um, so it can be it can great on you. And I think that Alex just got kind of tired of it. So, but we still talk every now and then. Good guy. I hope he's doing well. Um, I haven't heard from him in a couple of months. I ask this because with your personal style and flamboyance and dress, I sometimes question your masculinity. You question my masculinity? Please keep up the good work and keep your shirt on, Michael. God, he sent that in May 15. Sorry, dude. It's been, uh, had a little bit of a backlog with the mail room. All right, so I like this. He did a very good job making this like crappy picture frame of Paul Harrell flipping me off and it's like I'm looking down like in shame and it's Paul Harrell flipping me off. Okay, that's good, thank you. Do we have an optic? This is a Leopold box. Okay, we got a Disney Fast Pass. God, my viewers are getting more and more unhinged in the shit that I'm getting. Ah, nice. This looks like a Bushnell from like, is this, oh, it works, it works. Bushnell Sport View. Looks like a three to nine X from 1972. Uh, thank you very much for sending, I will put this on the build. Oh my God, the eye relief on this is atrocious. Dude, what the hell is this? I'm sure I'm gonna get an explanation, but I mean, I got like a chem light and some duct tape, zip ties, a trigger lock, a spring with a bottle of laxative tied to it. Mike, is everything okay, man? Are you doing all right, buddy? All right, guys, um, I guess pretty successful mailroom. I see that the people that are sending packages in are getting more and more unhinged, uh, but I bring it upon myself, what can I say? Remember, we're giving away a high point to our subscribe star fans uh, in the next like 30 days or so. I'm just gonna randomly pick somebody from subscribe star. Right now there's like six people on there, so your odds are pretty good. And don't forget, we are back to our regularly scheduled two gun giveaway next month. And I'm going to ask for budget for a third gun once we hit 1500. So we've got, we're at like 1300 uh, Patreon patrons. When we hit a combined 1500 from subscribe star and Patreon, I'm gonna ask for budget for a third gun and I'll probably get it. So uh, we might be giving away three guns in the very near future. Anyways, guys, cheers. Thanks a ton.